Welcome to Theme Park Wizard, and in this video, before Super Nintendo World opens here in Hollywood, I wanted to discuss the one that's already open in Japan and discuss the fa some facts about Japan, Japan's version, and what differences you might see here in Hollywood. So the first fact about Universal Studios Japan's Super Nintendo World is that it has two rides. That's right, two. We have Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge and the Yoshi Adventure Ride. Mario Kart Koopa's Challenge is a dark ride. It's a dueling dark ride, almost like uh, Men in Black, where you get to shoot at little aliens in, in Men in Black against like, two, and there's like two tracks. This ride also has two tracks, and you're not you're kind of racing, you're not really racing against each other, but you're racing against Bowser and his enemies, and you're wearing AR goggles and can shoot them, and you know. Uh, like those obstacles, you know, question blocks, you get little obstacles, and you can, you know, you know, try to beat them in the race. Yoshi's Adventure is a, basically just a version of a people mover, kind of, for the land. It's mostly outdoors, has one, or a couple indoor show scenes, and mainly it's like a nice omni mover, people, mo people mover type of attraction to add some kinetic energy to the land and give something for the little kids to do who can't ride Mario Kart or are waiting to ride Mario Kart. And yeah, it just adds just more life to the land, which is fantastic. Now, Universal Hollywood, due to space, is just getting the Mario Kart uh, ride. It's called Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge or Mario Kart Grand Prix, actually. Our Yoshi turned into Seek Life of Pets off the leash, which, in my opinion, is a better attraction than Yoshi. So yeah, we'll be getting just... Mario Kart uh, for here in Hollywood. Universal Studios Japan last year announced an expansion, a Donkey Kong expansion that they're working on. It's going to open up in 2024. So this will actually add a third ride, the Donkey Kong Minecart Coaster, to the land next or in a couple years. For Hollywood, that is been rumored but not confirmed, and it would go next to the Mario Kart attraction, but there's still no portals. Like in Universal Studios Japan, you can see a, a clear portal to the Donkey Kong entry, um, Donkey Kong Land entry. There's still no visible portals that we can see here in Hollywood, but of course, when the land opens, I'll be looking out for that. But yeah, that is, as of right now, not coming to Hollywood, but again, heavily rumored. Super Nintendo World in Japan has one gift shop, the one up shop, at least one main gift shop, that one up shop, which is also the exit to the Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge attraction here in Hollywood. But we'll of course be having that same gift shop, and um, yeah, it'll be our exit to the Mario Kart Grand Prix attraction as well. Um, a little bonus, uh, that I actually didn't include in my notes here for the five facts, but when you enter the land in Japan. You enter on the second level through Peach's Castle, and here you still enter through Peach's Castle in Hollywood, but just on level one instead. Universal Japan has uh, has the Toad's Cafe as their main restaurant. It's very highly themed. It has really cool speciality foods, just like most theme park lands have now, with Pandora and Risen World of Harry Potter. As well as uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, and have all some great themed foods. And Super Nintendo World provides a perfect opportunity for themed foods and Adventures Campus as well. But um, yeah, and they're going to have some. So there's plenty of great food you can try out. I might suggest checking out TDR's channel. So, yeah, TDR Reports channel. He does everything in Tokyo and Japan. He has some great Disney content. And. He has a full tour of Super Nintendo World and all the cool foods there. So check out his channel for that. But yeah, Hollywood's version will have the Toad's Cafe and all the awesome themed food that comes with it. And it's very, very big. It's really cool. It's going to be highly themed as well. So I'm very excited for that. Lastly, one cool thing that this land will have besides rides, and I don't know, since they won't have any shows, at least any announced shows, they will have, they have the power bands and mini games. You can buy a power band, um, 
Almost like as you can buy a wand to do magic with the magic on the windows, or the spells on the windows in Wizarding World. Well, here you can buy a power up band and play these mini games, and you can um press, you can like jump up and hit the question box, get coins. You can spend those coins on things. I'm not entirely sure what, but yeah, you get these coins and power bands, and you can link your Nintendo DS to there as well. And I believe yes, the coins will go to your Nintendo account now your, on your Nintendo DS if you have a Pokemon game or it's a Nintendo game, which is really cool. Here we'll have those mini games and power up bands, but in Hollywood, we're rumored since we don't have the Yoshi ride, we're rumored to have. A unique to Hollywood mini game inside Mount Beanpole. If you look at the construction updates. There's a big, still a big space. There's something that's going to be in Mount Beanpole, either a mini game or some kind of experience. Could be enhanced, enhanced meet and greet, but I hope not. I hope we get a nice little mini game. And there is rumored for uh, a mini game, an exclusive to Hollywood mini game in our Mount Beanpole, which is, which would be pretty awesome. But speaking of character meet and greets, there'll be plenty of those as well in both Hollywood and Japan to meet Princess Peach, Mario, Yoshi, all the gang. It'll be quite fun. So yes, those are my tips and tricks and facts about Nintendo Japan and really what that means for Universal Studios Hollywood Super Nintendo World. Um, most of you that watch the updates might already know this inf information, but... Anyone who's new or curious about what the differences may be, I hope this video helps you a lot. I'm very excited for Super Nintendo World. I do updates every Wednesday and Saturday on the Hollywood Universal, on Hollywood Super Nintendo World. So please subscribe for that. Turn on the notification bell because they come like clockwork every Wednesday and Saturday. My regular viewers know to expect them on those days. And if something big happens, then maybe even more, maybe three or more per week for the updates there. So yeah, definitely go ahead and subscribe more theme park updates if you like Nintendo, if you like Universal, if you like theme parks, or are just curious about Super Nintendo World in general, subscribe subscribe more theme park updates. I will have plenty more until the land opens, and of course when the land opens, I'll have a full tour of the land. I'll try to get a POV list of the queue of Mario Kart Mario Grand Prix. We'll do a merch search of the One Up Gift Store. We'll try the food at Toast Cafe. Hopefully, get some friends in there because I I am kind of a picky eater. But I'll definitely try some of that cool theme food at Toast Cafe. And if we have some more friends, uh, we can have a whole bunch of have a little food fest in there. And yeah, I'll, 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 every single mini game I'll be filming, putting it on the channel. The power band, how to get the power band, the process of the easiest way to do it and of course i do a tips and tricks video just on super nintendo world of easiest way to get into the land that might be a virtual queue system at first when all those details come out later this year to early next year i'll be on it so definitely subscribe for intense super nintendo world covers coverage over the next few months other than that subscribe have a fantastic fantastic day bye bye everybody